is Rob Holm. I'm the project leader at the Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery Complex, which would include the hatchery here at Garrison Dam and at Valley City. Well, the hatchery was was uh, founded through an Appropriations Act back in 1957. This hatchery is, is the only one that I'm aware of that has a super partnership with the state game fish agencies. There are a few, um, a few states across the country that partner with the National Fish Hatchery System and producing um, batches of fish to meet specific needs, but this one is actually um, like a 50-50 type partnership. So, so Rob, what, what are we looking at here? So each quart of walleye, each quart of walleye is 120,000. We normally have around three quarts in each one of these jars. And you multiply this out across what we've got here currently, that's 68 million walleye eggs incubating. 68, 68 million, million walleye, walleye eggs. eggs. And we have, we'll have over 100 million, some years, 100, up to 150 million eggs incubating here. And that's for, you know, for North Dakota's request. We also have requests from other states that want to establish their walleye population. And we've, we've, we've sent walleye to far away as the west coast of Washington. Idaho gets a few million every year. This here is our touch tank, and this gives us an opportunity for all the kids that show up here that have never touched a fish to actually reach in there and grab a fish. And we have our volunteers that give them nets. And you, and I'm in my office back there, and you can hear the uproar of kids as they're reaching in here and, and holding on to a fish that they've, you know, a lot of them have never even touched a fish before. So for instance, for a paddlefish. Oh, look at you, paddle boy. Look at you. Woohoo! And that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. So you can actually touch the thing and feel what it feels like. Now this one here's a shovel nose. Yeah. The scoots on this one are kind of sharp. So on the top you can kind of feel those, right? Mm -hmm. Walleye, right? Essentially. Yeah. And the difference is the kids get to feel this, you know, the differences in the scales and so forth on them, how, how slippery they are, or how ski, or, uh, gritty they are compared to uh, like your paddlefish or your shovel nose. Okay, this is the ling. This is the one that's, that's native in the northern, northern hemisphere and has been extirpated from a lot of areas. And so we're trying to bring these things back. Well, this, it's the only freshwater cod that we have in the world, right? So it's a, it's a very good eating fish. They've got one barbel coming off their, yeah. their but what everybody knows them for is they look like an eel, right? So yep. they're super slippery. They've got a real flexible body. And uh, when you catch them, they, they tell you that they're going to wrap around your arm. And, and uh, most people, they bring them in, they clip the line so they don't have to deal with them, right? OK. So here it comes. Where do, you, where do I grab them? You grab them wherever you think you can. <laughs> Story of the bourbon. So they're going, some of these guys are going this, that, and the other way, huh? Up and down. So when it, they go through there, is that they get. They go through here, they get sucked up into there. That's a deep watering chamber up there, so it's basically a, a plate, a perforated plate. All the water comes out, and once it gets pushed out of that, it is dry fish. In Darius trailer, he's got a major mark on there, and we yeah. know how much. We will calculate the size of these and how many fish it would take to displace that much water in the tank. And so we don't have to actually physically weigh them. We can just look at the yeah. amount of water that's being displaced in there to know how much weight is on there. And from that, you can calculate the number of fish. That have. Real time oxygen monitoring right here on a special app for all the tanks that are behind. We kept track and uh, since we built the new ponds over there, we've shipped 248 million walleyes. And 248 million walleyes. And out of this building, I think it was 18 million trout, which was 2 million pounds of trout and salmon. 2 million pounds of trout and salmon. So like today now, <laughs> we're taking uh, roughly 3,500 fish up to Northgate. Uh, 
each it's a sample count, we turn that into volume. And then I got rulers in my tank where I say I need 300 pounds of trout in each tank. That's what we did. He pumps out a pure trout. I got it. Yeah, I say I got with 3,500 plus or minus of fish. And then in the, when you get there, then I saw how what an incredible way you got this thing loaded. How do you unload? We used to have to pull a handle and sweep the fish out. And we thought, you know, if we turn it on its end, put that pipe underneath the tank. Yeah. So now I got a hole in the bottom floor. Yeah. And in 10 seconds, all the water and fish are gone. So you just run, run down a boat ramp. All those fish that I saw go in here come flying out this thing? Yep, and I've got five. Every tank compartment is independent. So i got five yeah. separate independent compartments, but it's, it's so easy. Well, thanks for all your service. It's really amazing. Yeah. coming out, man. It's, it's, yeah. like I said, it's just impressive. Okay, I've been here 26 years. This is my first governor to come Okay, well, I'm, I'm uh, happy, really happy to... Set that record, that's a good one. Right.